Hey guys, it's Alex and Lissy and Zach, and we are the Scary Pond Squad. Whoa. So, in the last video, Lissy asked you guys to get it to 60,000 likes, and I would post an embarrassing photo of myself on <laughs> Instagram. Yes. <laughs> And we did it, guys! We hit 60,000 likes! So now, that means... <laughs> um, I'm gonna post one of those to my Instagram for a week! I want you to do the one where you have, like, glasses on the beard. <laughs> Look like Guy Fieri. <laughs> what? The glasses and the beard? Fine. I'm gonna post it to my Instagram, which is the little joker. Go follow me, guys. Okay, so I did it. I posted it. <laughs> Now everyone's gonna see it. That's so embarrassing. What do you mean? You look beautiful with that ah! mustache and those glasses. If you get this video, this video right here, if you get this video to 55,000 likes, Lizzie is gonna take an embarrassing photo and put it as her profile picture. Oh no! <laughs> Also, guys, make sure to subscribe. We are almost at 5 million subscribers! When I hit 5 million subscribers, guys, I'm going to show you what's behind this mystery throne and do a full house tour. There are many mysteries lying behind this throne. Whenever I hit 5 million subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And question of the day is, what is the scariest thing you've ever experienced? Write it down in the comments below, guys. So, guys, guess what we're doing today? Ooh, what are we doing today? We are going to be looking at Roblox myths and urban legends. Ooh. So the game that we're visiting right now is called Myths of Roblox. It says, as Roblox continues to grow, many dark and mysterious things hide within the deepest and darkest corners of Roblox. This game will provide you with information about mysterious players with chilling backstories. Whoa. So here we are. As you can see, there's a lot of players here with backstories, and we're gonna read some of these and see what kind of spooky stuff is behind these players. <laughs> Guys, right in front of us lies the myths of Roblox Museum! Wow! And we're gonna be reading some of these stories. Which one should we read first? <sighs> this guy is really, really scary. How about we yes. read the really story? Error 45229 was said <gasps> that he would mess- I thought it said massage for a minute. <laughs> a random Roblox player. He would massage them until they died. It says a message, Zach. Oh, yeah. He would message a random Roblox player saying, please play with this with a link next to it. The <gasps> second that Roblox would start acting up on you and your computer would crash. Once the player logged back into the account, they would go to the game called You Were a Fool to Run Ooh. For Real 45339 <laughs> OM Us. The player's avatar would turn all red and everything would be in the name of 45229. So is this guy like a hacker or something? Sounds I like it. I don't know. Ooh. Well, I'm glad he never messaged us. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that could have been cool though. Look! Jane Doe and John Doe! John and Jane Doe are two Roblox test accounts made in 2006. Although people thought these two to. <laughs> Alex, help me! Are you with the. <laughs> John and Jane Doe are two Roblox test accounts made in 2006. Although people thought these these two reset accounts would hack Roblox on March 18th. If you ever played Roblox on March 18th, he'll message you saying a code. And after that, your, your account will be erased from Roblox. I remember this! I, I remember them too! What? Yeah, Lizzie. Back then, 
there was yeah? the, 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 this legend saying that John Doe was a hacker. And that he was Ooh. really ugly. <laughs> Ooh. So basically, everyone said that he was gonna hack Roblox. Delete it forever! I actually made a few videos about it way back then. That was two years ago! I actually got to see him in a game before, and that was very rare. No way! Yeah! Oh, here's me back in the day. <laughs> I look so different! So I think this is when it happens. As you guys can see it, that's that right there! That's John Doe! I got to see him in a game! <laughs> And it was really scary. And I remember back when all this happened, I was recording a live stream wondering if Roblox was actually going to be hacked by this John Doe. And then all of a sudden, Roblox shut down in the middle of my live stream. Whoa. But in the end, it turned out to all be fake. <laughs> <laughs> Cool kid? Who's this? I don't know. That's a cool kid. <laughs> Team Cool Kid joined today. He looks scary. <laughs> cool Kid was a user who joined back in 2013. Cool Kid was an exploiter on Roblox and was the founder of the exploiting group Kit Team. Such a lame name. It's just his <laughs> name. He was presumed to have developed the cool GUI, a Roblox script that would allow you to increase walk speed and fly and to insert assets into an infected server. Basically other objects you're not supposed to have in a certain Roblox game. Oh. Yeah, apparently it was a hacker, basically, is what they're saying. He had games like work at a pizza place and disaster survival? Yes. Oh. Yes, he did. I wonder if this guy is still around. I kind of want to look him up. So his name was Cool Kid. So let's see if he's still around. Oh. <gasps> I think he got deactivated. I can't find him. Really? Yeah, just a bunch of fakes of him. So that's what happens when you're a hack. You get banned from Roblox. Don't hack, kids. <laughs> Ooh, what should we read next? This guy right here, 1x1x1x1. 1x1x1 is Was a <laughs> test account made by Shed Left. Yeah. To simply test with Roblox exploits. Many users thought this account was a hacker account. One is one of became a myth due to rumors of the account being that of an exploiter of a hacker. Some even claiming that he had involvement with the 2012 April Fool's hacks. Do you yeah. know what the 2012 April Fool hacks was? No, no, I don't. What is that? So way back in the day, Roblox was hacked. Wait, really? for real? The whole place was shut down. Someone had added some faces that weren't supposed to be in the game. That's really scary. So there are still videos out there from people who actually were in Roblox when this whole thing happened. And so they do have videos and evidence of it happening. So this is one of the things that happened. This really creepy face was added to Roblox and it was being sold for a 100 Robux, but it wasn't supposed to be there. So it says once the Roblox admins actually realized what was going on, they took the site down. And the people who were involved with the whole thing got banned forever. <laughs> but yeah, that was a terrible April Fool's prank. It was scary. <laughs> yeah, that's not very nice. Hey, what if we read this one over here? Ooh, he looks scary. Unknown username. He, he looks, looks like a ninja. <laughs> yeah. He is a ninja. That mask is kind of creepy. Ooh. For real. <laughs> All right, so let's read what's going on with this guy. Yes. When I was a little boy, I loved to find rare or even ancient things, but one day... I found a weird mask, and uh, it was smiling, so I felt a little uncomfortable when I saw a, tr a weird mask than a broken mask. <laughs> he thought the comedy mask would bring happiness to all, so we put it on, but it felt weird, so he tried to take it off, <gasps> but every time he tried, he would get more corrupted and more. By the time he was an adult, he was insane and started remaking his broken home and try to get the mask off but it never worked then his friends started disappearing 
That was the day nobody trusted him. So like me. Wait, he put on a mask in Roblox and he could never take it off? That sounds so silly. Just make a new account. <laughs> this guy drank too much lemonade and lemon juice that he turned yellow. Ew. He even ate yellow. He only wanted to eat yellow. Anything that wasn't yellow, he didn't eat. <laughs> If it was anything but yellow, he would throw it away in his garbage can. He really likes yellow. <laughs> Why are all these so creepy? Oh, no. oh, look at this guy's face. Ah! Run! Scary. I don't want to be here anymore. What if we go out and then we see what else they have? Whoa, this whole area looks spooky. What's this? Jets Jacks. Cool. Basically, he has a lot of pumpkins and he's greedy and he wants them all to himself. It's a cemetery for pumpkins. <laughs> no, the pumpkins the all died. Cemetery. All of these oh, pumpkins have died. That's a really creepy looking statue. This place is creepy. Well, <laughs> this game is kind of scaring me, guys. I think we should get out of here. Yeah, I'm kind of scared. Zach, what are you still doing in the pumpkin cemetery? I don't know. I was staring at pumpkins. Well, anyways, I guess that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that like button because I really want Lizzie to change Aww. her profile picture to an embarrassing <laughs> yes. one. <laughs> Yes! So get this also, video. subscribe! We're almost at 5 mil! Yay! But anyways, we'll see you guys next time! Bye! Bye.